Lee, what's the reaction been in, in training following the disappointment from midweek? Yeah, it's one of continuing to work. I think that, you know, it was a tough first half for us. It was a good second half and we have to evaluate the game properly. And um, I think it certainly sharpens your pencil in terms of making those team selections, getting those right. But in a time like this, you have to give players opportunity and some take them, some don't. Um, but we move forward very quickly, you know, we often talk about errors. If it's a tactical error, it's generally on me. Uh, a positional error, again, we can go and work on it. A technical error, we can work on it. If it's an attitude error, I'm going to come down on the players pretty hard. So I think that it's important that we regroup. We've now got ourselves in a position where uh, we need to win the next two games. And uh, obviously we'll go and do our very best to do that. Yeah, what, what's the focus been? on this week because obviously there is that balance of trying to get your style of play across obviously it's really early in in terms of the season the players coming back as well what's the focus been on yeah the theme really over the last sort of few days has been that sort of defending we call it like clutch defending so making sure that everybody has clarity we've worked a lot on the offensive stuff we've worked a lot on the pressing but the detail of defending is where we fell short um, more often than not um, in the game and particularly the goal you know so it's something that we can work on we look back on and that's the bit we enjoy I think you know I'd much rather those scenarios happen now than sort of six seven games into the season we are chasing our tail in terms of obviously the work permit players we seem to which is great have a new player available every couple of days and we're still waiting on a couple of new ones and now the squad will start to just narrow if you like and uh, some of the younger players will potentially go out on loan and we'll find options for them and uh, continue their development path but now it becomes about sort of result uh, and performance. Yeah obviously results are of great importance in the Premier Sports Cup group stages, competitive games have come really quickly. How important are these, these next two fixtures? They're massive because we've got to breed this winning mentality and this winning culture. We've had like four five good weeks you know and 45 bad minutes and, and I think everybody needs to understand that's not acceptable for a club like this in games like that and, and that's okay now but obviously now we're chasing our tail a little bit and, and we need to put in two really good performances which I, I believe we will and uh, it doesn't mean that we don't stay positive you know we stay positive because we've got a lot to look forward to got injured players coming back as well relatively soon which is nice to hear nice to see and uh, yeah I think we've got a really strong squad and it's about this team building process that we must continue to evolve yeah and Bonnie Rigg obviously on Sunday what's the key going into that one attitude absolutely I think we have to show an A-grade attitude Bonnie Rigg have done really well you know promotion last year the way above the level in terms of quality of players that they've got um, but we've got good players and, and it'll be a brilliant day, you know, but only a brilliant day if we come out having shown an A-grade a -grade attitude and also winning the game. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously there's been a few changes in, in terms of the squad this week. Obviously Josh Doig leaving and going to Verona, but bringing Marianne Chibraya in. Talk to us uh, about Marianne and, and what he'll offer this team. Yeah, well, I think it was a, obviously an interesting dynamic, you know, Josh um, going effectively better in himself in terms of uh, a big club in, in a big division in the top league in the world. And we need to promote that as well. You know, the club's done a great job in developing Josh. Um, he's been very successful here, but the time to move on and therefore you've got to have a replacement. You know, we've got young players coming through the academy as well. But we just felt with Stevenson and with Oscar McIntyre quite young, we needed to add that uh, prime sort of type player in terms of age. But then also the attributes became important, you know, like some McGeady, Tavares, Mitchell can play that side, they need to be fed. So rather than sort of that athlete that was maybe a bit scruffy, we decided to go with a distributor that's also got a good level of athleticism and an experienced player. So, yeah, I'm excited to see him, obviously, in the green and white shirt. I think he'll distribute very well. You know, he's a tough lad as well. And he'll bring a bit of charisma as well, both to the dressing room and the pitch. So uh, excited to, to watch him and Lewis, obviously, battle that position out over a period of time. 
Absolutely, and, and Mamadou Bojang is here as well. His work permit was approved. He flew over from from the Gambia. It was his first training session today. How did how did he get on? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's still having to obviously learn the sort of English and Scottish, uh, it's particularly the Scottish. And, but at the moment, he's having to translate everything in his head first, and obviously that will come. Um, but listen, we, we didn't sign him on a whim. You know, he's a good player and uh, he's got a good change of direction. He's got good finishing ability. He's very wiry. You know, he can get in between people and, and he showed that today and he showed it well. Yeah, and obviously team news, there are a few players still, we're waiting on their work permits. Anyone else available coming in and around the squad? Um, no, nobody else available yet. We've still got the four injuries, um, all progressing really well. Slightly different in terms of the chronological order of when they're back, but obviously Hanlon, Mitchell, McGuinness, Nisbet. And the good news is we haven't got any other injuries. Uh, so it'll be a strong team, strong squad, and looking forward to a really good day. Fantastic. Good. Lee, good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Cheers.